and the uh, next challenge is okay so the title of presentation is sustainability of public transportation operation in lucknow city in the new normal Good afternoon, everyone. Um, it is my pleasure to be part of the sixth international conference on management, engineering, science, social science, and humanities. Today, I would like to share with you a research about the sustainability of public transportation operation in Lucena City in the new normal. First, I would like to introduce the authors of this research. I am the author, and I will be the one presenting this research. My name is Naomi Cuevas, and I am a Master of Business Administration student at San Pablo Colleges. I would like to also introduce my co-author, Dr. Alex Macario Cecilia. This presentation will cover four main topics of my research, the introduction, methodology, results and discussion, and conclusion and recommendation. The lack of sustainability in the public transportation operation was a problem for the Philippine government as well as the commuters even before the coronavirus disease 2019 or the COVID-19 pandemic. The importance of public transportation has been felt by the commuters in the Philippines as the global pandemic has suspended public transit in the economic and political center of the country. The researcher aims to evaluate and analyze the sustainability of public transportation operation during the COVID-19 pandemic in Los Angeles City. As in Philippines, through the preventing factors on using public transportation and the feasible initiatives to encourage sustainable public transportation. Transportation, by definition, is the movement of goods and people from one place to another, as well as the various means by which this movement is accomplished. It is an essential part of our lives that makes people's lives easier. In the Philippines, there are several modes of public transportation, such as jeepneys buses and tricycles pandemic is, is a disease outbreak that spreads across countries or continents and it affects more people and takes more lives than an epidemic on march 11 2020 covid 19 was characterized as a pandemic by the world health organization sustainable transportation is the capacity to support the mobility needs of a society now, what are the impacts of COVID-19 pandemic on the sustainability of public transportation operation? A significant economic in impact has already occurred across the globe due to reduced productivity, loss of life, business closures, trade disruption, and decimation of the tourism industry. The demand for public transportation severely drops because of the travel restrictions. In the Philippines, total ban was imposed on all forms of public transportation to combat the spread of COVID-19. According to World Health Organization in 2020, there are several possible modes of virus trans transmission that causes COVID-19, and it can spread uncontrollably because of asymptomatic transmission where infected people show no symptoms. Um, impact on lifestyle and travel resulted from changing many societal policies and individual decisions to avoid traveling to limit exposure to other people and the risk of infection. Now, what are the challenges and barriers for a sustainable public transportation operation during the pandemic? The lack, despite the lack of evidence, many governments relayed too often by the media have called for people to avoid using public transport. This has impacted people's behavior and the public perception of feeling at risk in public spaces, including public transport. Higher costs have resulted from new sanitation and cleaning standards, making several public transit systems exper experience finan financial difficulty. In the, in the Philippines, public transport through air, sea, and land was eventually suspended as the disease continued to spread. Most of the passengers also are still using the traditional fare payment using cash, which can give a high risk of being infected by the COVID-19 vi virus. Commuters spending more will, will lead to a higher inflation rate in the transportation industry, which according to the Philippine Statistics Authority was too high from the central bank of the Philippines target every year. Now, what are the initiatives on achieving a safe public transportation during the COVID-19 pandemic? First is um, practice physical distancing, use of face masks, 
biking and walking as an alternative, promotion of cashless payment, and fare free public transit. For the methodology, online survey was conducted on 384 public commuters from and going to Lucena City. The questionnaire includes social demographics, preventing factors on using public transport, and feasible initiatives to encourage sustainable public transport. This descriptive data analysis was utilized to describe, describe and interpret the results. Frequency and percentage were used to determine the distribution of response of the public commuters. Contingency coefficient was used to know the strength of relationship of the demographic profile and the preventing factors on using public transportation and the feasible initiatives to encourage sustainable transport. For the results, uh, majority from the Majority from the 384 respondents were public commuters from Sena City, with 28.13% of the population. And the lowest came from San Pablo City with only 1.4% of the population. The result in the occupational status of public commuters implied that most of the public commuters in Sena City are employed. Frequency of using different modes of public transportation in their respective destinations shows that vast majority of public commuters preferred to use jeepney followed by tricycle as mode of their public transportation. Safety from the COVID-19 virus was the top preventing factor on using public transportation with 92.45%. This may indicate that most of the public commuters are concerned about the risk of being infected by the COVID-19 virus. Based on the perception of the public commuters, the most feasible initiative to achieve sustainability on public transportation was the effective safety and health protocol, having 93.75% response rate. Now, the contingency table shows that the demographic profile has a strong association and significantly influences the preventing factors for the sustainability of public transportation. The occupational status and mode of public transportation has also strong association and significantly influences the feasible initiatives to encourage sustainable public transportation. However, the results show that the area of residence has a weak association and does not significantly influence the feasible initiatives for the sustainability of public transportation. This research concludes that public transportation operation in Lucena City was not sustainable enough in this time of pandemic due to the high response rate on the survey with regards to the preventing factors on using public transportation and the same high response rate on the feasible initiatives to encourage sustainable public transportation. Demographic profile has significant relationship between the preventing factors on using public transportation and the feasible initiatives to encourage sustainable public transport. Generally, commuters wanted to have effective safety and health protocol affordable fare cost and accessible mode of transportation by having more company shuttle services provided to the vast majority of public commuters population. This, this research recommends strict implementation of the safety protocols for public transportation, close monitoring of the local government agencies, sufficient number of public transportations should be provided by both local government and private companies to help sustain public transportation operation. Further studies sh should be conducted in case public commuters are vaccinated. And that ends my presentation. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Naomi, uh, for uh, uh, very nicely uh, delivered uh, your presentation.